Okay, guys, let's dive into Bible today and talk a little more about taking care of our earth. Remember, that is stewardship, taking care of things that God has given us. God has all authority over the earth because he created it. And when he created us a little lower than the angels because we have a special relationship with him and he gave Adam and Eve and then Noah and because we're descendants of them gave us responsibility okay we learned yesterday to right be fruitful increase in number fill the earth and then what we're going to talk about today is subdue the earth a rule over the earth biblical truth 18 god created his image bearers us to rule over his earth now we talked about ruling does not mean abusing okay ruling means taking care of the earth a okay? to subdue it a is some words i use um have dominion over it which means to harness its power to use it um not abuse it but to use it so some ways that we have done that um, in the world is through, um, did you know that with water and air for, I mean, a hundred years, people have used water, the energy from water and air, and air to use for electricity, which is really cool. So this is called like a water mill. Um, we have the dam, okay, Hoover Dam. We have wind turbines, windmills, and all of this is humans' ways of taking the natural things that God has created and subduing it, okay, and using it for our good. That is what God asked us to do. And again, not abusing it, but we, we're taking water and we're using it for electricity. We're taking wind and we're using it for electricity. We're taking the resources God is giving us and using that. It, with instead of abusing other resources and this is really awesome we used to have you know electrical lines that would you know go and sometimes you'll still see that but a lot of them are putting it underground now different things like that but even with this okay we have to make sure that we take care of of the water okay so what are some ways that we can take care of like rivers or lakes or even the oceans we live near the oceans right we need the, the ocean okay the atlantic ocean we need to make sure that we don't throw trash in it okay that we're not polluting it that it stays clean for um, how we want to use it for the animals that live in it same with the air that we need to be careful about the pollution that we are putting into the earth so that um we can the you know, again, we can live with with a clean environment, but also it will help the plants. Other things like that. Okay, using the what God has given us, but also taking care of it as well. Another thing that we have um, harnessed the power of is natural resources, not just wind and water, but you know, wood. You see this. You know, what do we use wood for? Okay, so many things. We use wood for paper. We use wood to build houses. We use wood to build tables. Okay, we use wood wood for so many different things. Okay, this guy is um, using stone. Okay, we talked about how um, with the rocks in science, how we use rocks for a lot of different things. There's rocks and what clean our teeth, right? We use rocks for so many different things. Okay, this guy's using cement. That's part of rocks. So again, we've taken what God has given us and we have harnessed that, okay, to help us in the different things. And God wants us to do that. He's given us that. Okay, but what are some ways that we can take care of the forests? Okay, what some ways that we can make sure we're not abusing it? Okay, one, not cutting down too many trees. Okay. Two, um, making sure that we are, um, when it comes to fires, that, that if we are out camping or, or different things like that, that we are um, being responsible with our fires so there's not too many fires that are getting rid of the trees. Um, there's a lot of different ways that we can make sure that our natural environments, our natural resources are being used for what we need them, but also not abused. Recycling is a huge thing, okay? Because when we recycle paper, okay, that's trees. So we don't have to, you know, cut down as many trees when we recycle. 
So again, using it, but not harnessing the power, but not, but also taking care of it. Another huge thing that God is asking us to take care of are animals, right? So does that mean that we can never, especially farm animals like, like pigs and cows, can we never kill them and eat them? No, God actually told us that he gave us the plants and animals for food. But we also have to be careful. One, we're supposed to take care of them, okay? especially if we have them in our care, our pets, okay? that we take care of them, we're not abusing them, that we are treating, treating them well. But we can use them for food. So some people are like, no, we can't ever eat meat. And if that's your choice, that's fine. But God has given us plants and animals for food. But we also have to make sure that we are taking care of the animals. These pictures, we have bald eagle, a sea turtle, a rhinoceros, a polar bear, a tiger, and a giant panda are all on the endangered species list. Okay, endangered species are, are species that certain types of animals that you cannot find very many of them in the wild. So we're not talking about in zoos, but in the wild. And some reasons for that are people are killing them, you know, not for food, just killing them in general. There might be pollution in their area. And so their eggs can't, their babies can't um, hatch or, or grow or be born. Um, their, maybe their habitats are, you know, we are taking over their habitats. And so they, there can't be as many of them. So again, we are to take care of the animals. That is something that God gave um, responsibility to Adam and to Noah and to us. But, and so that is, again, we can, especially the ones that we eat, use it for food. But we can't abuse that right of just killing just for killing um, and taking other habitats. We have to make sure that um, we are doing it, again, not abusing it. But especially these animals are in danger. They're not, they're not many in the world. And a lot of them are, are animals that we all are very familiar with. Polar bears, bald eagles, turtles, tigers, pandas, elephants are, are some of them. And, uh, rhinoceros, a lot of the different strand of rhinoceros are endangered. So we need to be careful. Penguins, I saw that penguins were. I don't know if it's a different type or what. But we need to be making sure that we're taking care of our animals. Okay, so the word that we're going to talk about today is dependability. The ability to finish everything others ask you to do. When your mom asks you to clean your room, are you dependable that she knows that you're going to do it? If you're, when, when I ask you to do your work, does your mom or do I know that you're going to do it when I ask you to do it? Um, are you dependable? Can, can others trust on you, rely on you to do what they've asked you to do? So with this, can God... Okay, can, can God rely on us and trust us that, that we're going to take care of his earth and subdue it and use it for our good, but also not abuse it? Are we dependable on that? And hopefully we are. And there are a lot of different ways that we can do that. Um, so I am going to give two uh, links, and there are a lot more out there, but I'm going to give two links um, in the the thing that I give daily one of them is about a little more about endangered species another one's a little more about how they harness the wind to to make electricity which both things are really cool so uh, make sure that you look um, look at those and learn a little a little bit more about how people are um, taking care and um, of God's resources that he has given us. Okay, see you later.